वेलकम टू स्ट्रक्चरल एनालिसिस टू वीडियो सीरीज यूनिट नंबर थर्ड फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी मेथड लेक्चर आउटलाइन न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम ऑन कंटिन्यूस बीम पार्ट वन प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट एज फॉलोज एनालाइज दी टू स्पैन कंटिन्यूस बीम शोन इन फिगर बाय फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी मेथड ड्रॉ बेंडिंग मोमेंट एंड शेयर फोर्स डायग्राम सो इन द गि फिगर ए बी स्पैन लोडेड विथ टेन किलोमीटर पर मीटर यू टी एल स्पैन लेंथ इज अ सिक्स मीटर स्पैन बी सी लोडेड विथ थर्टी किलोमीटर पॉइंट लोड एट एट पॉइंट डी विच इज टू मीटर फ्रॉम बी एंड फोर मीटर फ्रॉम सी सपोर्ट एट बी एंड सी देर आर स्प्रिंग सपोर्ट एंड स्प्रिंग कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर बी इज ई आई एंड spring constant at c is ei by 2 at a there is a fixed support moment of inertia of each span is constant and it is i now let move toward the solution first step is to find, to calculate degree of static indeterminacy for that first let find out the unknown at each support at a there are two unknown neglect the horizontal reaction at b there is one unknown and at c again there is one unknown so it is a spring force so total unknown are four in number and we having a two equilibrium equation neglect now horizontal equilibrium equation summation fx is equal to 0 so to get the degree of static indeterminacy we have to first find out the unknown reaction and then minus the equilibrium equation we having a degree of static indeterminacy 2 so let these degree of static indeterminacy let's say vb and vc so these are nothing but the redundant and let assign that redundant uh, location and that location is at b and at c so these are the two redundant force if we remove this redundant we can solve this structure by just using three equilibrium equation so redundant means Uh, the after removing the that particular after removing the force uh, we can able to solve it by uh, we make it a determinate structure and without disturbing the stability of a structure so that uh, that forces are called as redundant so these are the redundant forces and we calling it as uh, or assigning the direction to the redundant so their coordinates uh, are nothing but the vp and vc at the location of b and c now let move toward the displacement corresponding to the redundant in the original structure now our redundant at b and at c so whether there is any force acting in the direction of redundant that we have to calculate now our redundant are nothing but the reaction those are in vertical form so action along their direction will be a force vertical force so there is no such vertical force acting at b and c but there is a spring force which will be act in opposite direction of redundant so that we have to consider as dq1 and dq2 so let calculate that spring force that is a Uh, opposite to the spring force and the displacement will be a uh, 1 by kb into vb minus now kb at b is ei into vb and second displacement in the direction of redundant 1 upon kc into vc that means minus 2 upon ei into vc by putting the value of kc as ei by 2 so finally we having a This is uh, a displacement vector. Let's take down this one upon e i outside. So minus v b divided by minus two v c. 
Now next step, step get the release structure. So remove the redundant forces and get the release structure with the load. So this structure is now determinate structure. In second structure, now apply the unit force in the direction of redundant VB as Q1 is equal to 1. With, do not consider the loading. So this is a release structure with Q1 is equal to 1. Then next release structure is apply the unit force in the direction of second redundant without considering the loading. So this is a release structure with Q2 is equal to 1. Now displacement analysis of a release structure with the load. For that sign conventions Hogging, we have to consider negative sign and for sagging, the sign is positive 1. So let to do the displacement analysis. First, we have to consider zone. So consider the zone. First one is the first is your C. B is our span. But point load is acting at 30 kN and let mark that location as a D. So whenever there is a point load there you have to mark the location. So first zone is CD zone and the origin for the zone or calculation is C is origin, moment of inertia is I and limit. So limit to put the limit we have to first assign the origin. So C is origin. C is origin. Now locate this C and D point with respect to origin. So C with respect to origin at 0. So first load limit is 0. And D is 4 meter away from 0 or C. So upper limit is 4. Now to find out the value of moment or capital M. Take a section in a CD. By taking a section you have to look toward the right hand side. So there is no any load so moment will be 0. Now let us consider release structure with the redundant as unit force redundant 1 now take a section in a CD zone there is no any load toward the right hand side so the moment will be a 0 now consider release structure with the second redundant as unit force now take a section and let, let look toward the right hand side there is a unit force at C in upward direction and C is our origin so the section is X distance away from the origin let consider so moment created by this force Q2 about this section in anti-clockwise direction and anti-clockwise direction create the sagging so our sign will be a positive so plus X 1 into x become anticlockwise plus x and that is sagging. Now consider next zone db zone. Now first the origin is again same c is origin moment of inertia is i and now let calculate the limit now d is now if c is origin now D is how much distance away from the C or origin? 4 meter. So first lower limit is 4. Now B point how much distance away from the origin? Now B is 6 meter away from the origin C. So upper limit is 6. Now take a section in the BD zone and this section is X. distance away from C. Now take a moment about this section. What are the forces toward the right hand side of a section? So there is 30 kN force and it is moving in a clockwise sense about this section. So we have to take it as minus because it creates the hogging. So for anti-clockwise minus sign is there. So minus 30 into this distance is nothing but the lever R. So, in the 
the distance nothing but the x minus 4 so minus 30 into x minus 4 by simplifying minus 30 x plus 120 now take a section in a BD zone for small m1 consider a Lie structure with q1 is equal to 1 there is no any force toward the right hand side so it becomes 0 now consider next structure and take a section in a BD zone it is x from the origin and at origin there is a load acting in upward direction reaction acting in upward direction q2 is equal to 1 and it will rotate about this section in anti-clockwise direction that means it creates sagging so you, we have to take positive sign so plus 1 into x become x plus x now let consider BA zone take a section into the BA now this is a section taken in a BA zone and origin is C moment of inertia is I and limit C for C is as a origin so limit for B is so B is at a 6 meter from a C so lower limit is 6 and the A is 12 meter away from the C as the C is origin so upper limit is 12 now take a moment now there is a 30 kN load acting downward so it will create the moment about the x this section about this section in a clockwise direction so it is create the hogging so minus 30 into x minus 4 UDL 10 kN per meter spread over the length of x minus 6 as we consider this section is x from the C or from the origin so the length of UDL in term of x become x minus 6 so now take a moment of this 10 kN about this section and it will be act in downward direction and it will rotate in a clockwise sense so it will create the hogging so minus 10 into x minus 6 into lever arm become x minus 6 divided by 2 so finally we have minus 5 x square plus 30 x minus 60 now let's consider second release structure with the q1 is equal to 1 take a section into the ba and it is x distance away from the origin so the uh, lever arm for the q1 is equal to 1 as x minus 6 because this remaining distance is a 6 so x minus 6 is nothing but the lever arm for this q1 is equal to 1 and it will act in a anti-clockwise direction so positive for the sagging so 1 into x minus 6 then the next release structure with the q2 is equal to 1 and the, again the origin is C and the section is X distance away from the origin now the Q2 is equal to 1 acting in upward direction and when we rotate it it will create the anticlockwise moment that means sagging so positive sign we have to take so and it become 1 plus 1 into X that means plus X so these are the nothing but the one moment by, by considering uh, release structure or displacement analysis of a release structure displacement of release structure in the direction of redundant due to given loading so first direction is redundant direction is q1 is q1 or at location 1 so dql1 is equal to integrating from 0 to l capital M into small m1 divided by EI into dx we will get displacement of a release structure in the direction of a first redundant so putting the value now first zone is CD zone so 0 into 0 we will get 0 for second zone again we will get 
minus 30x plus 120 into m only 0 so we will get 0 value so consider b a zone so that values are minus 5x square plus 30x minus 60 into x minus 6 divided by ei into dx and limit is 6 to 12 so finally we have dq l1 is equal to minus 4860 divided by ei now let's consider displacement of release structure in the direction of a second redundant by applying a, uh, that unit force so let uh, uh, dq l2 is equal to integrating from 0 to l m into now you have to take m2 column m2 divided by ei into dx now limit for the first zone now there is a capital m is 0 so we will get 0 for the first zone now consider second zone db zone limit is 4 to 6 integrating from 4 to 6 now capital m is minus 30x plus 120 into this small m2 is x into x divided by ei into dx now consider next zone integrating from 6 to 12 limit m is minus m x square plus 30x minus 60 into m2 is x divided by ei into dx by solving this we have minus 320 divided by ei minus 12420 divided by ei become minus 12740 divided by ei so these are the displacement in of release structure in the direction of redundant redundant are two in number so flexibility matrix will be 2 by 2 so let's first find out first flexibility coefficient f11 is equal to integrating from 0 to l that means we have to consider whole length of a member m1 into m1 small m divided by ei into dx now to consider first zone cd zone so small m1 into m1 become 0 now consider next zone db zone small m1 into m1 become 0 Consider next zone, BA zone. Now limit is 6 to 12. So putting the limit 6 to 12. And small M1 is X minus 6 into small M1 means again X minus 6 divided by EI into DX. So we have F11, 72 divided by EI. Now diagonal coefficients. So F12 is equal to F21. They are same is equal to integrating whole length 0 to l m1 into m2 divided by ei into dx now consider each zone first zone is a cd now m1 is 0 so uh, we will get 0 final now next consider db zone again there is a m1 in 0 so 0 into m2 becomes 0 now next zone is ba zone and the limit is 6 to 12 so 6 to 12 m1 is x minus 6 into m2 x divided by ei into dx so we have diagonal coefficient f12 is equal to f21 is equal to 180 divided by ei next flexibility coefficient f22 integrating from 0 to l m2 into m2 divided by ei into dx now first zone is cd zone limited 0 to 4 integrating from 0 to 4 m2 into m2 means x into x become x squared divided by ei into dx plus db zone limit is 4 to 6 4 to 6 again m2 is x so that become x squared divided by ei into dx next zone ba zone limit is 6 to 12 so from 6 to 12 and x square again divided by ei into dx so by solving we have f22 is equal to 576 divided by ei now putting the value in flexibility matrix we have 1 upon ei 72 180 these are the diagonal element those are same 180 and 576 let's stop here remaining part will be resumed in the next video thank you